are you doing? Just came to say hello. Hello. George Pemberton. Serena Shaw. I think we should be married. <laughs> I never thought I'd find you. I never thought I'd find anyone. How much is yours? Ours. I sure would like to know what you think of our little operation. I think you've taken nine months to do about six months' work. Can you find a wife or a partner? Both. I'm afraid your stocks are no longer sufficient collateral. Our future, everything that we talked about, we will lose it. We promised to tell each other everything. I didn't want to frighten you. I'm not that kind of woman. You're not the same anymore. The only thing that's changed is you. I want to forget about everything but each other. You have a son. And you're lying. I'd like to speak to your wife. There was a murder last night. You need to get as far away from these mountains as you can. He betrayed you, George. Everything you did, you did for us. look nearly as bad as I thought it would. I mean, I still believe that Jennifer Lawrence's management team and maybe even Bradley Cooper's management team are trying to bury this thing. But it, it finally got a release date in the UK. That's where this trailer is coming from. Uh, and I guess I can see why they wouldn't want it to, to get out there because, you know, it, it it's not really, I think they've progressed from when this film was probably made. It's been in the can for quite some time. Uh, but I guess they weren't able to prevail. It's going to see the light of day. I think Jennifer Lawrence's star is just a little too hot to hide something uh, where she has this big a role. And also a role where she plays something so different than what she usually does. I mean, I think it draws on her strengths. I think she excels uh, as honest characters. And this is a very honest character. Uh, unfortunately, this character's honesty is that she's a despicable Person. I mean, I think the trailer hints at it, but I think you'd be surprised at how far her character goes in the movie. I don't want to spoil it for you, uh, but I think once you do see how far Jennifer Lawrence's character goes, you might have a little bit of, uh, of an understanding, a little bit of a better understanding as to why she doesn't want it to be released. Uh, but I think the production values look very good. The acting, particularly by Jennifer Lawrence, looks very, very good. Bradley Cooper, I mean, it's okay. I think his accent is pretty rocky, uh, and I think he would like to think he's moved past this kind of a performance, uh, not only just with uh, his Oscar and awards uh, fair that he's nominated for with American Hustle, of course, Silver Linings Playbook, but then even Rocket Raccoon. Uh, I think, you know, he's, he's really at a high point in his career right now, and why would he want to take a few steps backward, uh, not just per, uh, in terms of his craft, uh, but also how people see him, how audiences see him. But nobody's going to be looking at him. They're all going to be looking at Jennifer Lawrence. This is very clearly her movie. It's being released because of the intense interest in her. Uh, and I think that while I can understand her not wanting it to be out there, from what I'm seeing from this trailer, I don't think she should be that embarrassed of it because I think she's at least owning it. She's owning how horrible this character is and she's being honest about it. And I think that's all that you can really ask and hope for from an actor. Uh, so I'm curious what you think. So many of you have been so curious about this movie. It looks like it has good production values too, which I think will help to make it uh, watchable, uh, you know, outside of the horribleness of her character and Cooper's not so great acting. Uh, but I'm curious to what you think. Uh, are your expectations met? Or now that you've seen a trailer, are you like, ah, now maybe I'm not as interested? Uh, and if you're a big Jennifer Lawrence fan, how do you feel about her playing someone who is uh, pretty, pretty darn awful? All right, write your thoughts down below. And also, UK viewers, you're going to get this before anyone else, maybe the only ones to ever get it. Uh, and so how, how does it feel about, how do you feel about that? And uh, are you excited to see it? And everybody else, do you want to see it or do you want to, maybe at this point you want to just see how it's received in the UK. All right, thank you so much everybody for tuning in to my review and you can check out some more episodes right now.